Howdy, howdy, everybody. And welcome to Cooking Simulator VR. Today, we are here with a simple goal, and that is to build ourselves a, a delicious Christmas dinner. There's a lot of people coming over. Look how big the kitchen is. It's going to be a crazy mess. So, we got to get the, the dinner ready, because the dinner's not ready. Everything's going to go to shit. So, here is the cherry cake patented pendant. Patented? Patented? It's, it, 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 it exists. The eggnog recipe for generations to come. What you need is very simple actually. It's very, it's very simple. You want to check the light back down. I gotta, gotta go you know, reach around the door. There we go. Get my bucket. My bucket is stuck it. <laughs> so that's okay. You want to two eggs. Pop those in there. You're not going to be cooking the bucket, but they're just going to be chilling in there for a hot second. You also want some milk. You want two tubs of milk. Which is perfect because that's exactly how much we have in the fridge. Slam that puppy down and then pour it to one raspberry. Because listen, everyone likes a nice sweet eggnog. How much do you get sweet? You put a strawberry in it. Can you close the door? And there we go. What else do we need? It wasn't. Eggnog? Great. Spiked eggnog? Now the people are interested. I'm going to grab the white wine. You don't want to put red wine because you don't want the kids to know that you're drinking on a Christmas day. We don't need the stove. There we go. We got a nice, nice city view. There we go. There we go. There we go. A strawberry. That's a. Look at how small it's getting. Wow. Look at that. Get that out of the way. So now we just need like a mixing bowl. Do we have a mixing bowl? We need a tiny bowl. This can kind of work. It's not going to be that big of a, of a beverage. So you want to crack two eggs in that bowl. Just, just do that. Half the bowl, a little milk. Well, two thirds. Two th it's a two to one ratio. It's a two thirds milk, one third white wine. And it's a little about, about thirty. There we go. And get the pickles, the easy blender. And you just want this thing to go right in there. The milk's still over. That's okay. That's the stuff we don't need. Add a little strawberry in there. Bam. We may have lost a little bit more, but that, the strawberry makes up for it in flavor. And the fact that actually, just in case, you want to add some more egg in there, get that mixed up, you can throw some shell in too, so added flavor. Mix it up, you know, do some strings yourself, and there we go, we have our eggnog recipe, everybody. So we're going to set this <laughs> on the table for the people to come. Now, this eggnog isn't everyone's, you know, first choice. We're gonna make apple cider. Everyone loves apple cider. I don't. So you need apple. You need apple, right? Because it's gonna be a lot of apples. You quite frankly need a lot of apples. The more apples, the better. If you have an unlimited supply of apples, you don't want to get about halfway. Up there. So what's half of your thing? Like 15 apples? That sounds about right. Of course. You know, the kids need to drink too. So, get them the red wine. You can match it with the apples so they won't, they won't know it's in there. Alright, fair enough. A little bit of bottled water. Good bottled water. Never hurt anybody. And then some cinnamon. You know, some cinnamon sticks. That's that's the good cinnamon. You don't want, you don't want this. You don't want this to be garbage. You don't want this powdered nonsense. Throw that away. Clear the area. The best way you can. That. There's a bottle. Turn it away, that. Something's like spilling. Oh, the milk. <laughs> it's a, how much milk is in this thing? Oh, it just ran out. Get the water in there. The water's the best, you know. Everyone enjoys some nice water. A good liter of water. Got it. The apples need something to blend into. Otherwise, they're not really gonna blend very well. Cause we're going fucking crazy today. Yeah. Now we got our apples. We got plenty of apples. Don't you think so? This is this is such apple. So you know what I want? You want apples that have a nice core like that. You know, cuts through evenly, consistently, and it just looks like apples. Once you want to get that in a pan. Oh, cutting board. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> and you'll know when you're done when your apples say, you know what? I don't want to be an apple today. And you'll see what I mean 
once you once you know you get enough apples. Go for a fifth. We're going crazy. It's it's still good. Ah, oh, see this is what this is what I mean. You know this is this is what I mean when they don't want to be apples anymore. You cut it into one. And you're like wait a second. It's all just peel. It's just a bunch of peel. Oh, these guys want to be apples today. These guys really said, hey, you know, I'm gonna wake up and be an apple. These, these are all good. These are all good people. Oh, found a bad, found, we found a bad apple. Ladies and gentlemen, we found ourselves a bad apple. Look at this guy. Look at this. Who do you think he is? Huh? Who does this guy think he is? Uh, but yeah, he's one of them. You know, he's, he's like a reasonable amount of these apples. He's got whichever one's got to be Stay in there. I have to go in the pan. You can do a little juggle in your team. This is what I add the red wine. A little, a little bit of a, a little bit of color on them. Because you know they are looking a little, little lighter than you'd expect for apples. Uh, it helps us at home. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you're following along. Because uh, I'm not turning back. No, there's no turning back. Why not? It's not dope. Why not? That's for you. Okay. This is when you want to add the red wine in there too. All right. This is when add all the, all the apples. In the time, you want to double up on the cinnamon. You don't want eggshells in there. Well, maybe, maybe one eggshell for good measure. Full cider. It's got to be red, all right? You, if it's not red, you're doing something wrong. Pop that shit on. Let that, let that simmer for a little bit. We got deep fries. This is not it. I'm going to make my world famous cabbage fries. You haven't had my cabbage fries, so. <laughs> If you haven't had my wolf hands cat fry, <laughs> then you're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. You want to get that in there, pop the heat on, get it boiling before you put the fries in. Shadoy. You just want to, you want to get a nice hunger. Stop. Stop. And then just take it off. So it didn't actually cut there. The key is when you want them to be put over the stove. Got to get a nice in there. Mm. Be careful, you're going to be boiling oil. This is boiling oil, you don't want to boil oil, boiling oil. Boil oil. You don't want to boil oil. Ah, it's good! Fuck it. Ah. Yeah, so yeah, so we have our cabbage. Our cabbage fries are done. Let's see how our apple cider is doing. They've been cooking. Yeah, so they're nice and cooked. Grab your blender. Mix that stuff up in there. Because again, apple cider, not meant to be chunky. So we're going to mix, put this in the fridge. Because again, apple cider, not supposed to be a very hot beverage. Just pop that next to the salmon. Get some, get some, get some additive flavors in there. And actually, while you're in here, now is about a time that you start getting your cheeses ready. You want two nice little, I guess a cube, but I guess not. They're not really cubes, cheddar. Let's get our bucket. Maybe we gotta get another bucket with ready. So let's let's get you and you in here. We're making mama's mac and cheese. So you know the potato pasta you use kind of you. I am a very big fussy fan. All right, so I am a fool who is silly for <laughs> fussy. Get some tomatoes in there. We don't want tomatoes. Of course, you know, if, if you can, if you can, get them in a can, that'd be better. But you don't have that luxury here. So you don't just want cheddar cheese in your mac and cheese. Otherwise, it's going to be boring. It's boring. You want to go in here, look for the mozzarella. I think I think this abomination is supposed to be the mozzarella. Right? Get a couple globs of that. That's going to add some like, nice gooeyness to your cheese. Do you see your, your mac and cheese? Some, some water, some amount of water. Pop that on there. Get that boiling. You need that to be boiling before you put the pasta in. No one likes pasta in the water when it's not boiling. Pop that there. Uh, get out the rest of your stuff. Uh, move it around a little. Dump all this on there. I know what you're saying. You think you're making mac and cheese. Why aren't you just making pasta? It is mac and cheese. Don't fucking tell me otherwise. <laughs> Now we have our tomato soup. Tomato soup, so now we're just going to pop in our pasta. Mm mm mm. Some delicious pasta. 
That, that's all we got. This is it. This is the whole box of. That's not gonna feed a family. I might need more. We might just need to mix the the pastas together. I know. I I know. I know. A very taboo thing to do. But you know, sometimes sometimes family calls for the craziest things. Not a lot of pasta going in, so you know, no matter too much. We're gonna let that simmer for a hot for a hot second. <laughs> yes, a hot second. See, well, while we do that, let's let's get the fries plated up. Uh, we're gonna just plate to these. Cause you're pretty much done. You know, once you get the fries, you know, we're pretty much done. Now we are gonna get some pieces. You know, that's coming up next. There we go. We have a nice plate of fries. Everyone loves a good ham. We don't really have that, so best thing is best. Beef chunks, everybody. Beef chunks. Get three. This is a lot of meat. Right, this, this thing is a lot of meat. And you want to get this bad boy on the grill. Right, you're, not, you're not cutting it in any particular way. You're literally just saying, hey, you know what? Who wants beef chunks? It's, a, it's pretty much like the roast beast you know, of the world. So we got one. Alright, ladies and birds. So with your roast beast on the grill, you just want to pop that shit on. Let those grow for a while. You know, you want you want those grill marks to really last and stay in there. And uh, so now uh, your pasta looks about pretty boiled. So you want to get a strainer. Uh, if you don't have a strainer, do not worry. The fry basket works about the same. Look at that. Now you drip of water in there. So I pop those right back in there. I am not cooking again for this family. Sometimes, sometimes cooking is about pickup sticks, you know? You know the game, pickup sticks? You just kind of, you know, while the meat's cooking, I mean, you, you got some time on your hands. You don't have a dog in the house, so they can't just clean these up for you. So, you know, you just make it work. And you cook them both. You can just, you just use it anyway. Because no one's going to know that you drop the pasta on the ground. Five second rule, right? Everything in life has five second rule added to it. So each pasta added five seconds to the rule. So you have like eight minutes. And you wanna get you wanna get that lathering in the tomato soup. Again, tomato soup, not sauce. You do not want tomato sauce. You want tomato soup. In fact, that could use some more tomato soup. Okay, three of those. Three, we'll get four, we'll four more. I feel like that'll be enough. So again, you just want to do the same thing before. Mix it up. That. And this is what happens when you try to order tomatoes online. But you know what? It'll work. It'll work. On the last, it'll work. We need. What's red? Same one. Oh, time to flip them. Get your, get your, uh, get your trusty spatula. And uh, just. Oh, look at that. Now that looks nice. Family's gonna love this. You point at it, you can tell that stuff's cooking. Keep that going. Ah, oh, it's red. red, red. Ketchup. Perfect. And it's more tomato. So all, all, all is fair and well in the world. Get some ketchup in there. You want to get some red color back to it. it doesn't have to be super red, but you know those tomatoes are pretty old apparently. You, again, you kind of want all the pasta to be covered while it's cooking. That was about done. We'll pop that off. So now you just want to dump it all onto the baking tray. You want as much of that tomato soup to stay on there as possible, but of course, you know, sometimes things get in the way. We don't have a casserole tray. You know, ideal in an ideal world, we'd have a casserole tray. No, but we don't, so that's fine. So now you want to get the cheese. Nope, that's not the cheese. And, of course, your trusty knife. This is not a trusty knife. We're not going to blend it. We're just going to mix it in. So, you know, it's like a nice... It's not all on top, you know? It's not all on top. You just gotta squish it around, get some more mozzarella in there. Perfect. And you just gotta dump it all on there. Perfect. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then you just wanna slice the cheddar. Just wanna slice it. You wanna. What? <laughs> slice the cheddar. Now we got a groove going. Ow, ow, fuck, ow, fuck. I hit my, hit my hand. Shit. Is there a band aid? Bleeding. Oh, I don't like. Oh, I don't like blood. Oh, me too. Can just flip it again. What's that saying? Salt in the wound. Will that help? 
Where's salt? Where's the fucking salt? Where's the salt? There's all these. I don't know pictures. Starch. Starch in the wood. Salt in the wood. Water, 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 water. No, it's cutting more water. Get the blood off. Jeez. Sorry, guys, that's embarrassing. And you want to pop that in the stove. I don't see any other stoves. This one has to do. Pop that in there. 350 for like 40 minutes. And again, you just kind of getting it warm, cheese melting. Everything's already cooked, so you just kind of want the cheese to melt on top. And look, you make joke. Alright? That is a good mac and cheese. Made a soup with your mac and cheese. And that is mwah. That is delicioso. Great recipe. Holds no bounds. The meat looks about done. Once you see that green color on there, you kind of know you're about there. So, you know, in my family always likes it a little, a little rarer. So, that's okay. So, let's get a nice plate to present these on. Big family dinner. Dinner, dinner not dinner. There we go. Got another plate going. There we go. Get the... You want it to be nice and presentable. Here we go. You know what? And to be even more presentable. To, for it to be presented even further beyond. We even shop one. Yeah. Look at that. It's nice and red in the middle. And we can just display that lovingly. Oh, it's delicious. Could use a little more eggshell. But, you know, I think I think it'll do. I think the kids will love it. Again, you can just kind of put the ladle in there. You know, that's a punch bowl more than anything else. It's a nice apple cider punch bowl. You know, now, now you guys are like on my side. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, get the blender out of the way. Can't get the blender out of the way. Ooh, we can just make an apple pie. No, we already have apple. Well, it will pumpkin pie. Oh, pumpkin pie. Oh, yes, please. Okay, pumpkin pie. I have a great pumpkin pie recipe. We see pumpkin. One pumpkin should be more than enough. Get some honey in there. Honey. Secret ingredient. Honey. Ginger. You all think I'm crazy. A little bit of bit of grass. Catnip. Never hurt anybody. Just fell on the floor. Nope. Nope. Yes. <laughs> so everything's cooling. He's again. Family's almost here. So you want the, You always want to have the the, the, the the dessert in the oven before they show up. So it feels like they're doing something. Ooh, cheese, pumpkin, honey pie. Aw. Oh, this is why I love me. You don't want too much pumpkin. All right, that's 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 the place where people go wrong. You don't want too much pumpkin in your pumpkin pie. It's mostly the, it's mostly the seasoning. It's mostly the flavoring. So you want like half of this pumpkin. Honey is a fantastic base for pumpkin pie. It adds so much more sweet to your delicious times and flavors. Kind of that much. That much honey. Lots of honey, lots of deliciousness, and you know you want that to simmer. You want that to kind of you get it, you poke it nice and down. You want you want it to be touching that honey. You want the honey to be embedded into the entire pot. All right, so that's that's how you make something delicious. All right, you know, I'll be the first to admit it looks a little crispy, but crispy mac and cheese never hurt nobody. And we do serve it in the pan, but not a lot of room in there, so we can take a square pint plate and we'll, uh, we'll serve it on this one make sure the pasta gets on there too you know you want to oh jeez a little stuck to the pan there we go you want me to even... oh you do need that you gotta bake a pie <laughs> get it blended down a little bit there we go all that starts seasoning up you don't you don't really gotta chop up the cheddar you just kind of want to put it in there again one of the Want it crammed in. Want it to be nice and embedded in the juice. Want it to marinate before you blend. Because then now keep the flavors compact and tight. And then when you blend it down, it's like a gushing sensation. It's going to be delicious. I'm telling you right now. You can get the crust ready for the pie. So you just want to make a nice, you need eight fairly even uh, pieces of bread. And there we go. Perfect. Pop that on the old square tin here. You want a nice thin layer of pumpkin as a base. Because again, you don't want too much in the filling. But you <laughs> but you need to have some structure to your pie. That clean off there. There we go. So a nice flat piece of pumpkin. 
Mm-mm-mm. D-list. I know, I know, but you want more across on the side, and I am here. You give that to you. Give a hint. Christmas, you get what you want. Here we go. Here's the nice and simmered. Let's get that blended in. What? <laughs> Why is it black? Why, Why is it black? <laughs> what? 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 What happened? What? What happened to my pie? What happened? Man, 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 man percent. What did I do? I'm okay. You know Sometimes dessert doesn't go as planned, which is why you have the whole meal to enjoy with it. You get a little bit of that. And you don't want to. You don't want to overdo the pie filling. And then you want to take, you want to take, oh God, and there we go. So now you got that, and you want to be very careful as to not spill too much of the filling, and you want to pop that in the microwave. That's right, the microwave. I know, a bit crazy, but it makes the, it crusts, it crisps the bread in a way that you wouldn't expect it to. So, uh, power, sit at the medium, and, uh, Oops, okay, it's on high, 20 seconds, it's fine, it's more enough. So let that sizzle. Magical ingredient like this only comes once in a lifetime. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to just use it and lose it, you know? You want to you wanna make the most of it. So, I mean, I don't know. Let's, let's just... Let's, let's have, like, another... Again, we already have one, like, serving pot thing. But I feel like this would go really well with some sausage. Dip it in there. I mean, yeah, pretty good. There we go. So now we just have like little serving sausages. You know, you, they're in there. You can grab one out and then just uh, enjoy the delicious coating. Let's get a couple more in there. Actually, I feel like that's it looks a little barren. And again, you don't want to you don't want to mess with that too much more because one again, <laughs> pumpkin pie filling. It it is a treasure, a delicacy. You don't want to mess with it too much, especially when it comes out like that. <laughs> Somehow, so you just you want to be careful. You kind of want it to look like tentacles coming out of the, out of the ground. You know, you don't you don't want it to look too handmade. So if, if something falls over, something falls over. But you, it's got to be like nice. And there we go. Now you got your pie, and look at that. You see, I told you. Look at that crisp. Look at that delicious crispy pie. Now we have our meal. So, let's go over it again. Eggnog. For the people. For everybody. Everyone enjoys some eggnog. Got some... Got some delicious... Fr what is happening? Uh, getting a headache. I think I'm having a stroke from whatever the fuck's in there. We got the, the red cabbage fries. We got the mac and cheese. The delicious s tomato soup mac and cheese. Apple cider. We got our concoction there. Our our um our uh, tentacles coming out of the water. We have our main course, our beef chunk, delicious, delectable, mm mm tasty. Hey guys, how's the pumpkin pie? What more could you ask for for a delicious Christmas dinner? You tell me, folks at home. You tell me. I genuinely want to know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but no, I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Look at this. This is a delicious meal. Grab yourself a knife, and you want to put a little sprinkle of ginger in every meal we made today. <laughs> yes, that's one. Uh, not a lot to go around. The ginger markets were very unfair this, this week. Two. Okay, and there we go. Take some lime juice soup. You want margarita? Here you go, buddy. Drink up. What's up? What's up, Sue? Merry Christmas. Drink up. Everything's darkness. I made that pie. I'm not sure where the world just went. I think we pretty much just about covered it. I mean, get the condiments ready for everybody. You know, the soy sauce, the mustard. The only two condiments you really need. The only thing that I forgot to add this. Add the old apple chunks. 
the apple skins. You know, everyone enjoys a good apple skin. Pop that right in the eggnog. No one, no one knows that you put that in there. Whoever gets it, whoever gets the apple skin, is the Christmas winner. It's a free present. You know what that present is? A surprise meal. You know what that meal is? Well, I'll tell you what it is. Delicious T-bone steak. You wanna know how I cook my Christmas T-bone steak? You just use it as a sponge. And clean up. <laughs> you know, just get it nice and clean. And then dirty again. You wanna get that apple skin. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Christmas dinner. Bon appetit. <laughs> So thank you all for tuning in to the 11th day. Cheer Miss Eve, as the cool kids may say. One more day left, and it's a doozy. Here's a preview. They played a 9, not a bad card. They played a 12, he called Saul, you clearly don't. <laughs> I put that on his head. Hope you guys look forward, looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's time to dig in. <laughs> I got the guy, I got it, I got it. Bye, everybody. <laughs>